Oh, man. I, I have such a bittersweet relationship in my mind with this next question. What additional inner work do I need to do to overcome my scarcity mindset? It feels bad to think that you have more work to do because sometimes the ego just gets tired and it goes, oh God, another spiritual process. Have you ever done that? More inner child work, more unraveling of myself and crying and anger and shaking my fist at God. You've associated inner work with pain. And sometimes you, the ego just wants a little bit of a rest, right? From the doing. We've even brought doing into spirituality in this work, and we've created processes to do <laughs> so that we overcome some part of ourselves that's still there because it's meant to be there because we're still learning from it. But if you really want to go do something, here it is. Go make money. If you're worried about not having money, go make money. I'm just going to keep this really real and logical for you. The only way to change your relationship with money is to have it. Go make it. Go empower yourself with it. And we live in a time, I need to remind you of this, since COVID, this is what COVID did for us. It opened up the doors for us to make money in ways that were, were unimaginable prior. Do you feel me? Unimaginable. Now, I've been doing this for a long time, but you should see me attempting in the past to get a mortgage with my job. You work for yourself. Do you get paid? Well, how much do you get paid? Show me your bank statements. Show me your taxes. Show me about seven years of them so that I can make sure that it's viable. Wow. And then they're, when I show them, they're like, wow. You, you actually support a family of six. What? Right? And these days, since COVID, I just recently got a mortgage on this house and nobody, we, we, nobody was batting an eye. You're self-employed. Sure. Okay. Where's your 1099? Okay, great. Great. Let's go. Okay. Three days later approved. Right. No, the scarcity mindset doesn't stop you from getting money. Nothing can stop you from getting money. If you have a scarcity mindset, go into it and switch scarcity to saving. It's the double S's. What you have, you can really make the most of by changing that word. Your vocabulary is what's stopping you. And then you can, and then this is what we do. We tell us why I have a scarcity mindset. So I'll never make money. That's my block. It's just there. You know, try to do some processes or try to do some inner work. Right. What can you do to empower yourself out of that and use the word, I have a saving mindset instead. This is the next most believable step energetically up the scale of consciousness. I don't have a scarcity mindset. I just like to save money. Right? Can you go with that? Change that word. You don't have a scarcity mindset. Stop saying it. You have a saving mindset mindset. You are becoming a good steward of money. That's another S word. Yeah. So don't say I have a block with money. I have a limitation with money. I have a scarcity mindset. Stop saying that. It's a word spell. It's not energetically appropriate for where you're, where you're wanting to go. So we take the next most believable step. It wouldn't help you for me to tell you I have an abundant mindset. You certainly don't. Or, or some people, when you have a saving mindset, they just say you're cheap. See, I see the difference between cheap and a saving mindset, right? I don't have a saving mindset. That's why I have an exceptional wife, <laughs> right? Who does? <laughs> but um, I have a spending mindset. <laughs> it's really, and I enjoy it. And I, don't, I have no shame about it. I'm like, oh, that looks nice. And, and luckily, I have a wife in the background going, let's talk about our budget this week, <laughs> right? Or I would be baroque because <laughs> I love money. I don't have a scarcity mindset. I don't have a saving mindset. I have a money is wonderful mindset. But I'm not super attached to it either. If you come to me and you have a problem with money, we go, well, how can we help you? 
Don't let money stop you from coming to me. <laughs> what discount can I give you, right? Have a giving mindset. If you want an abundant mindset, you have to give. If you don't have money to give, give of your time, give a service, give a discount, give what you can, give a lending ear, give. If you want something, give it, become a beacon for it. If you want to switch from scarcity mindset to abundant mindset, how can you give? How can you be a giving person? Right? And you, for the saving mindset, become a gracious person. Be in your gratitude and be gracious for all that you are receiving. Write a list. Oh my goodness, I have a roof over my head. I have at least two or three changes of clothes to wear throughout the week. I have shoes on my feet. My socks are comfortable. Get real, get simple, get practical and write down all the things that you do have. Instead of saying, I have a scarcity mindset, start writing list of everything that you're grateful for that you do have that people in third world countries do not have. Right? Like clean water. My goodness, when you don't have that, whew, you can't focus on anything else in life in abundance when you don't have that. If you didn't have food to eat, you wouldn't be thinking of anything else but that. You, you kind of see this when you travel to struggling countries. And what's the first thing they do? Despite the fact that they're struggling, they're going to they're going to cook you a meal, probably a meal that comes from their own garden that they grew or a meal that they traveled. You don't know, like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 kilometers to get and bring back on their backs or in a basket on their head. And they're going to cook it up for you and offer it to you because they know that they are blessed. Right? So those are some of the active things that you can practically do to cultivate and create an abundant mindset. But the first thing is stop saying you have a blog or a limitation or a restriction or a scarcity mindset. Just stop using those words. You have a saving mindset. Start where you are. You have a grateful mindset. Start where you are. Right? And last but not least, if you want money, go out and get a job create a business, start offering your services to people, do what you need to do. If you want money, go create money. Stop thinking about the scarcity mindset, just go create money for yourself. We live in a world since 2020, like I was saying, that provides opportunities to do things that were not there, say, in my parents and my parents' um, lives. They were not there then. No, those opportunities were not. No one was self-employed at that time. There's very few self-employed people at that time. It just is very unusual. They were renegades, the self-employed people. And they were like, oh, they just go from paycheck to paycheck and money to money. They don't know the, the travelers. They call them, people would call them things. Um, back in the day when I was a child, you have so many opportunities. You have, you can become an Amazon seller. Have you ever, it, it actually makes money. I had no idea. I'm old school. So one of my clients told me not too long ago um, that she's an Amazon seller and she knows a lot. She sells a bunch of different things on Amazon and she does really well. I had no idea, <laughs> right? It what wasn't really a thing in my time. There's so many things you can do to make money instead of just sitting around saying, I have a scarcity mindset. You're in a different world. Go create money. It's okay. But whatever you do, stop saying I have a scarcity mindset. It's just a spell you're putting on your on yourself. Uh, next question. Is it time for me to leave Queens, New York, or should I wait a while? You've been asking me that question since I've met you. How many years now? We're working on at least a year of you, maybe two of you say asking this, waiting this, asking this, saying this. And then when I, and, and I'm going to tell you the same thing I told you before, yesterday was the time, <laughs> right?